This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hull back with me. Welcome back, Rob. I'm glad to be here. You have been busy here the last few weeks. You've been here almost every week with somebody. So who have you got this week? I got, I got Councilman Dave Murphy. Awesome. Good That's morning, over Rob. To you. Good, good morning, Councilman Dave, and thank you for joining us. Please tell us about the polar plunge. Well, the polar plunge actually started back in 1904. Uh, it's all over the world, and it's uh, different. Uh, different people jump jump into different areas. Well, basically, it's a uh, it's a, called a polar plunge because it is set up in the winter time when the water is just a little more chilly, especially in this area. Uh, what it is is uh, people jump into the water, collect uh, money for donations to charities of their choice. Uh, police officers from across the province that I'm aware of uh, have been for the past uh, little while plus uh, going onwards they're, they're doing it as well and they're, they're doing the polar plunge amongst themselves, amongst, amongst agencies, collecting donations and our charity of choice which is uh, very dear to our hearts is the uh, the Ontario Special Olympics. So that's where our uh, money that we raise through donations and charity is going. So it's just, uh, so basically what's going to happen is they cut a hole in the ice. We're going to go down to Lower Reach Park, cut a hole in the ice, and there's going to be uh, several officers and the Smith Falls Fire Department's coming out to help us out as well. And they're going to jump into that nice cold water for charity. What made the police department get involved? Well, as I said, the, the, it's, it's going towards a great cause that we, we love so much and um, we, we, we thought would, that would be the best spot to go. Um, it's collecting money and uh, right now we have, uh, there's two athletes that are going to the provincials uh, for swimming, it's Trevor and Tori. So it's going to help collect money for that. Um, all the money collected goes back to the Special Olympians Ontario Fund and that money gets dispersed back to our local groups um, as well. Any donations that people provide directly to our local group will go directly to the, the, the athletes. When and where is the plans taking place? Thursday, February 16th, 2023. At around 10 a.m., the time is to be to be determined yet, uh, but it looks like 10 a.m. Is, is a good time, and it's going to be at Lower Reach Park down by the docks. Uh, we've seen the docks down there, so it's down by the Kinsman Building. Uh, you can see the Kinsman Building from where people will be jumping. How many officers are taking part in the plans? Well, I'm expecting most officers that are not busy that day will be coming out to at least cheer, cheer on the people uh, plunging. Right now, we have three dedicated officers that are, are willing to take that plunge into the cold water, one being Chief McGilvery, the second one being uh, Deputy MP, and the third one is Constable Kyogen, who is our new community service officer. They've all signed up so far, and we're hoping to get more people on board. Have, have any of you ever done this before? Not that I'm aware of, but I don't know if you've done it before, would you do it again? But it's all going to a good cause. So a little bit of sacrifice, and again, um, it's going to people that are very dear to our hearts. So um, nobody's really come forward and said they've done it before, but we'll see. Well, does the money Rings go. The money goes back to Special Olympics Ontario, and then it gets dispersed from there to uh, local charities. Um, yeah, so it goes back to all all across the province. So everybody, when people raise money and stuff, it all goes back to the, uh, the Special Olympians, and it gets dispersed to different groups. Where do you go to donate to this? Cause. Well, actually, if you go online, you can just punch in uh, Google uh, Polar Plunge uh, for uh, Special Olympians. 
It's a very long email address, and maybe what we can do is put it on the screen later. I can see we can look on that, yeah. 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 Because it is uh, fairly long. It's, uh, it's Polar Plunge, Crowd Change. Um, that's our link, and we've got a team uh, going in there as well. Thank, thanks for joining us, Contour Day, and good luck with the Polar Plunge. Thank you, Deputy. It's been great <laughs> chatting with you, as usual. And this is wonderful, this connection that uh, the, pers the, the, the our Special Olympics and our Smith Falls uh, Police Department has had for a very, very long time. Because you, you're doing this for Special Olympics, but you know you're doing it for Robbie. You know you're doing it for Christy. You know you're doing it for Trevor and Tori. You know our athletes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been a part of the Special mm. Olympics for, for many, many years. And I dare say it's probably close to 30 years, I'm going to say. Absolutely. Well, Robbie's, yeah, 30, 30 yeah. plus, so yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's very dear and near to our hearts, and it's a great program, and it's, it's a great way for, for us um, to interact with them. And, yeah, sometimes we're mentors, but sometimes we can also learn from them. They're our mentors. Absolutely. And uh, keep us, you know, working hard to, to better ourselves. So we look up to them just as much as they look up to us. Very good point. Very good point. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Constable Dave? No, that's great. It's great talking to Rob again, Deputy our Deputy Chief Robbie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great being on here, and uh, we hope everybody comes out and supports the uh, the Polar Plunge. Well, it's been a few years since you've been here. You used to be the Community Service Officer, and uh, I remember you being here many times. You were the first Community Service Officer that FYI got to work with, so it's, yeah. it's been a while. But I, I still remember the Santa Claus letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a great thing. I, I, that was... Uh, a favorite of mine. There's lots of favorites, and it was nice to do my part, and you know, in promoting the, not just the police service, but the town. Absolutely. As you know, I grew up here, and I think it's uh, it's a great town, and, and we do a lot for each other. Yeah. Um, and this is just another program to enhance that. That you know, police get you know, join everyone. It doesn't matter what group. We 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 like to get involved with the community. Yeah, that's right. That's so. right. And it must be great to be a police officer in the town you grew up in. Sure is, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Very much so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, everybody knows you and knows who they can go to. So. Yes, well, yeah. We appreciate you being here. Constable Dave Murphy from our Smith Falls Police Department. Robbie, my co-host, Robbie Hall, thanks for joining us and bringing in another guest, Rob. Let's get out there and get some pledges for our polar plunge for our Special Olympics. <laughs>